In this last video for section 15, we need to know how to rationalize binomial denominators. Similar to other radicals, we can rationalize a binomial by multiplying by the conjugate. Notice that if we multiply this by the conjugate, just as a reminder, the only difference between the two binomials is that one is positive and this, the other one's negative for the second term. When we do this, notice we only have to multiply the first and the last to get a squared minus b squared i squared. This is important to notice because we can clear any imaginary numbers out of the way simply by multiplying by the conjugate. If you're not sure why this works, go ahead and foil it out and you'll see that the middle terms always divide out when you multiply by the conjugate. In example one, we can multiply by the conjugate or the opposite of 2 minus 5i. This is 2 plus 5i. Whatever we multiply in the denominator, we must multiply in the numerator as well so that we multiply by something that's a funny looking one or equivalent to one. Notice that when we multiply by something that's very similar and only the last term has a different sign, that we can multiply the first and the last and clear out any irrational situations. Distributing the, two, the 4i through, we get 8i and distributing the 4i through to the 5i, we get plus 20i squared. In the denominator, because the two middle terms will always divide out, we simply multiply the first and the last Now that we've done that, we can simplify. We get 8i plus 20 times negative 1 all over 4 minus 25 times negative 1. We can easily simplify this further so that we don't even have multiple terms in the denominator anymore. Four plus 25 will be what you get in the denominator, which will simplify further. You will have 8i minus 20 all over 29. In example 2, again we have to multiply by the conjugate to get rid of that square root of negative 1 issue. We're rationalizing the denominator by multiplying by the conjugate. The conjugate would be 3 minus 5i. Whatever we multiply in the denominator, we must also multiply in the numerator. Let's go ahead and FOIL these out. In the numerator, we will have to use FOIL. 12 minus 20i minus 6i 
plus 10i squared. In the denominator, since it's a conjugate, and we know that the middle terms will always drop out, we'll simply multiply the first and the last to get 9 minus 25i squared. Let's go ahead and simplify. These are like terms that can be combined. And i squared becomes negative 1. In the denominator, we have 9 minus 25 times i squared, which again becomes negative 1. Simplifying further, we get 12 minus 26i minus 10, all over 9 plus 25. In the numerator, 12 and negative 10 are like terms, and in the denominator, 9 and 25 are also like terms, which means we can simplify things further. In the numerator, 12 minus 10 is 2, and negative 26i is also left in the numerator. In the denominator, we have 9 plus 25. This gives us 34. At this point, it may be tempting to quit and assume that you've simplified it as far as you can. But we should notice that there's a common factor between 2 and negative 26i. The common factor is 2. So once we factor that out, we get 2 times the quantity 1 minus 13i all over 34. Let's go ahead and divide out the common factor, which is 2. 34 divided by 2 is 17. And so now we can say that we're completely done. Our final fraction should look like this. Negative 1 minus 13i all over 17. And now it's reduced to its lowest term.